welcome back to the stream. Ah, it's my last night before surgery. Why does this look so damn weird with my t-shirt under? Uh, I just have to not look at myself. If I just don't look at myself, I won't even worry about it. It's fine. Um, tonight is my last night before I get, oh, holy shit, before I have surgery. Um, also thank you Tess, the other Ashley, yo, have a little Jade, Kayla, um, Pipsiggy, Stephanie, Samantha, um, Jenny, Kelsey, um, uh, there's so much going on in here. <laughs> thank you Jenny, thank you Lurker of the Shadows. So, you got this girly, all good vibes sending you, thank you. So, Unicorn Farts, as we know, is the most pregnant. But do we know who's the least pregnant? Boy, do I have some news for you. Farquifa is pregnant. Yes. Yes. Did I miss anything? No, Court. I literally just started. Um, Pixie, you are now in League B1. Hell yeah, brother! With whose child? By him? We don't know. We w don't know. With whose child? Um, partner? None. She is keeping it a secret. A secret. So, do we know? No. We don't. We don't know. We gotta find out, though. In due time. In due time. But, um, I am interested to see how this goes. So, on Patreon earlier, they got to find out a little earlier than this, um, because as soon as I found out, I had to tell Patreon immediately. They found out earlier today. Thank you, Lord Michelle, Saint Kelsey. Thank you, Freckles, or the Corgi. Um, they found out earlier today that she's pregnant. And an article came out by Lady Whisper Down as well. Oh my god, the baby dragon! Thank you, Amanda! We found out that the royal family in Far Far Away does know that Farquifa is pregnant, and they have plans for the baby. And that the baby will not be swamp raised. And that they've been in communications with Farquifa. So, so, has anyone pinged the Discord? Uh, I have not. I'm gonna be honest. I have forgotten. Uh, uno momento. And I will give you one hinty hint about the fate of this baby. I will tell you, and y'all probably just saw it too, she is having a girl. Thank you, Court. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Kelsey. Um, and what I will give you a hint about where the baby will be going and what will be happening with her baby, because let's be honest, we know she's cursed. Um, but the royal family in Far, Far Away has recently found a dragon that I think we'll be meeting soon. Um, live now at live announcement. Boop! Okay, I posted it. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, so what are we doing today? Any hoodle, we're gonna have to add unicorn farts, um, to the family today because... Shrock wants to throw his woman the best baby shower ever. Now, Shrock has been informed of the last time we had a swamp baby shower, how terribly it went. Her kid is Shrumple, right? Yes, her biological son is Shrumple, but he was kind of adopted by somebody else. Um, hi, just got here. What is happening? We're about to have Unicorn Farts' baby shower. So, Unicorn Farts is the farthest of long out of all of our pregnant people. Thank you, Bursar. Thank you, Piss McGee, for the Corgi. AK Stolen. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Farquifa is, like, barely pregnant, so that's good. Um, she'll be the last to deliver out of all of our 
peoples, but Shrock wants to throw his woman the best, best baby shower ever. And um, so he's been setting up the swamp all damn day. He's trying to pull out the works for her. He even tried covering up the damn uh, urns, tombs. Oh my god, thank you, Amanda! Um, we've got all the fancy things here today. He even bought a damn grill, which I can already see it now. Grimace and the rest of the hooligans over here, bubbling, grilling, whatever. Um, what if Shrock is the daddy of both girls? Well, Shrock is her uncle. So that would be gross. But, um, feeling his dad life. He also has a bar set up over here, a uh, place for dancing and everything. New Family Dynamic Jokesters. Shrek and Shrock just can't stop cracking each other up. I bet they can't. I bet they're a fucking hoot in the room together. Shrek and Shrock. Which it honestly reminds me. Hold on. For those of you who don't watch my unboxing videos, I need to show you something that Britter Snitter's husband made me. I need you to see this. Speaking of Shrock. Speaking of Shrock. <laughs> it's Shrek with the rock's face. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, Shrek. Dwayne the Shrock Johnson. Precisely. Precisely. Um, any hoodle. So we're gonna have to do some inviting to this party. I do want to change their outfits and create a sim after we get unicorn farts over here. So we need to get unicorn farts added to the Oh, of course he doesn't like Pita Wendy. Are we shocked? Are we shrocked right now? <laughs> Invite unicorn farts over. Unicorn farts spark glass. Thank you, Charlotte. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Tay. Uh, we haven't forgotten the OG Shrock. <laughs> yeah, we haven't. Why is Cinderella crying? Aw, uh, she's mourning. Remembering a Sam that passed away. She's still sad that Santa's dead. But, you know what? Santa had to die at some point. So, anyways. The romance festival's in town. Um, okay, I guess we can go to the romance festival with his woman first before we throw her the biggest baby shower ever. Before we throw her an iconic swamp shower. Yes, yes, we will. We will. Um, imagine someone finding the Shrock figure in 100 years and freaking out it. <laughs> Imagine, Lord. Oh, I forgot he has a little bit of romance with a uh, full squid. Let's not catch a swamp on fire for our baby shower. Who's baby shower? Unicorn farts and shrocks. Just got here, did I miss anything? Um, well, Farquiva's pregnant. Basically, almost everybody's fucking pregnant. And yeah, thank you, Leah. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, Pisaki. Um, I guess we're going to the romance festival. I don't even remember the last time I came here. I do remember one of the times I came here. It was, bitch, what are you wearing? She wants to be pregnant. Damn. The confidence. Um, look at you and Farts with her little baby bump. So cute. Shrock caused the fire last time. Let's go, well, let's go ask, oh, what I was going to say is, I remember one time we came here, and we were Reaper. Let's go ask the guru, the guru about our current relationship. Go ask about our current relationship. Didn't we see the Lorax cheating last time we were at the festival? <gasps> the festival, yes. Yes, we did, actually. Can all these people fuck off? No offense, uniform farts. Um... We gotta check Sparkplug with his baby fever. I want to take Sparkplug. Where the fuck is the guru? Oh, she came to us. 
Oh, you're gonna make us ask right in front of her? Unicorn Brides is like, yeah, what about our relationship? Oh, oh. Well, that's not awkward at all. That's not awkward at all. I was about to say, though, I really want to take Sparkplug and her family on, like, a family vacation. But I can't decide if I want it to be, like, an adult's vacation or if I just want to take, like, Sparkplug and her family with her kids on vacation. Um, one of them, though. Thank you, Jackson, for following me. You from Farts wants the tea. The Lorax line is cursed, I tell you. So many deaths. If anything, she's up. She's up front. At least your flaws are perfectly matched, dot, dot, dot. Oh, dear. Oh dear. At least your flaws are perfectly matched. Mm, we never see the kiddos. To be fair, we never really saw Karma and we re never really saw Flynn and Stethoscope and all of them until they were teenagers too. Like I feel like we really didn't know them until they got older either, but that feels backhanded. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Thank you Caesar for following. Flaws? I see no flaws. Let's ask for the romance guru's wisdom. Oh my god, it's crackhead Tinkerbell. Not our Tinkerbell that lives with Jack Sparrow, but the other one that murdered her husband at the- Ooh! At the thing. At the hospital while she was in labor. Oh lord, he's dazed right now. Who is Farquipa's baby daddy? We do not know. We do not know right now. What's she got to say now? Love is often found in the place you least expect to look. What in the fuck? This lady's weird as hell. You know what? Forget the romance festival. Or we're going back to our swamp party. Someone call Ursula so she can talk to this guru. That might be true, but rude, right? Right? The script club. We gotta have this baby shower. Um, I think I'm gonna have to do it like planning a party and not actually planning a baby shower, but it's fine. Um, let's add an event. Because there is like a baby shower option. But I don't think it's gonna let us choose who we want as guests. Well, there is a lot of options here. Hold on, let me see. Do we have like Grimace and all of them on the options? Because that's what I'm worried about. Yeah, not all of our people are in here. So we're going to have to do it as a house party, technically, but it's fine. Um, the hosts will do as them five, so they're all invited already. And then um, the guests will be... I'm starting from the bottom and working my way up. I feel like that's always faster um, with the people in our family. I gotta pay attention. I have to pay attention in this moment. Um, the way Patr Patrick's face takes up the whole square just looking <laughs> out. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There goes Versailles. Obviously, we're not. Vaseline. I forgot we have a sim named Vaseline. <laughs> I'm getting Shrock Thirst Trap screenshots. Okay, I'm new, so I'm not even sure when the lives are. Oh, welcome, Kathy. We're glad you're here. Um, Typically, I go live at 8 p.m. every day, pretty much. But I am having surgery tomorrow, so I will not be going live tomorrow night. Possibly Thursday night, but I'm just not sure. I'm getting asshole surgery, so I'm not really sure of the severity with that. Um, But we'll see. Um, stethoscope, you're invited. And then spark plug, you're invited. We've got two horses named Spaghetti. Wow, wow. We need Farquifa tea. The tea is that she's pregnant. That is the tea. Um, we want to Shrumple, You're not invited. Um, Shrekly, you can come. Shrekira, you're invited. Granny Wolf, you are invited. Shrekunzel, are you a cook now? But you are invited. Puss in Boots and Ogliana, of course. Of course. Unicorn Farts, obviously. Um, Shitlit, you're not invited. Uh, now I'm worried that we're not gonna have enough spots. We gotta get a cow named a Meatball. <laughs> <sighs> Asshole surgery is literal, not a divorce. Yeah, yeah. Farquifa's what? Pregnant. 
pregnant as fuck. Well, she's a little pregnant, but I mean, it's a serious case of pregnancy for sure. Um, can't forget Doris. Oh yeah, we gotta have Doris there. We've got to have, I need Grimace there. I need Doris. Like those are two of the ones I'm thinking about off the top of my head that are must. Um, not the two different Patrick Stars. Do I have double Patrick Stars? Wow. Um, thank you, Pimps McGee. Girl, I'm still stuck on Farquifa. The Farquifa tea is coming later, but just know the bitch is pregnant. Unfortunately for all of us. Uh, Mrs. Puff Crabs, and then Eugene H. Crabs, god damn it. Um, sorry it takes me so long to get all the people invited for the parties. Uh, I just want to be thorough. We do need Doris. We do need Grimace. I'm looking out for both of those. How is everyone getting pregnant at once? There's something in the fart pond, I swear, because everybody is getting pregnant at one time. And a lot of these are unauthorized, truly. Thank you, Jenny, for the hand heart. Um, going up. We'll invite Lottie. Um, Lottie, Earwax, Grimace, Doris. This dude's dead? I don't know who you were, but I know you died either. Thank you, Jenny, for the hat and mustache. Um, Ursula, you are not coming, because the last time we invited you to a swamp party, you were shooting up the place. Well, let me not say that on live, but you you guys know. You guys know what she was doing. Um, damn, this takes forever. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I'm trying to fast look at names. Oh, we're in the G's. So we're about to see Grimace, I think. Grimace? Gr Where the fuck was Grimace? G-R. Okay, there's Grimace. We need Doris. Okay, I'm in the D's. Dor Doris. Who, the, who else did I say we needed? Oh, Earwax. Let me go to the E's. Ogliano's already invited. E for Earwax. Marquette, you're not invited to this one. C, D, E. E. Am I tripping or are there, is there no E's? It's A, B, C, D, E. Oh, wait, there they are. E. Earwax. Who else? We have one more spot. Lottie's already invited. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All these pregnancies gonna make Spark Plug and Grimace one another, baby. Oh, God. I don't even have no more names for them. Lord. Clarinet. I feel like we're forgetting someone very important. And I can't put my nose on who it is. But clarinet will do. Clarinet, you're on the list. Great. We're going to hire an entertainer. We're going to hire a mixologist. Sparkplug. I think Sparkplug got invited. Peter Wendy's not invited. Caterer, yes. And then we're going to do it at the... Um, hello, our house. The fuck? And for right now, here we go. Are her sisters coming? Unicorn hearts? I also need to add her to the household. I feel like I have to sneeze. I think Snowshoe was on there. I think she was. I think. I'm not a thousand percent sure, but I'm pretty sure she was. Also, thank you guys. I'm gaming number 69. <laughs> Um, how fitting. Entertainers need a piano. Y'all can't entertain without a piano? That's crazy. Also, I forgot I wanted to bring them on to create a sim. Shit, to change their outfits. Damn it. I forgot this was for Unicorn Farts and not Phoebe. Ogliana, yeah. A lot of the people you are saying did get invited. Um, I know that they'll, they'll linger in and not everybody's gonna show up at the same time. Um... Little baby slipper shits on the computer. Just who are you messaging? At your little, at your little age, 
New family dynamic supportive. Some older Sims have a knack for providing reassurance and emotional support for their younger family members. Farquifa and Shrock have a supportive family dynamic. Well, that's cute. That's adorable. Here comes Grimace rolling up to the function. I am a little concerned we might have not invited Sparkplug. But you know what? Maybe she needs to stay at home with the kids tonight. Okay. Club Oh, no. Sparkplug's right there. Right after I was talking shit. She's right here. <gasps> you and Clarinet are wearing the same thing, girl. You and Clarinet are wearing the same damn thing. Let me change your outfit. Dresser, change outfit. Sparkplug, you can wear... I guess this. Um, you know Sparkplug ain't staying home! <laughs> it's true! Oh, Clarinette changed her outfit anyway. She said it's cold as hell. Um, it looks like Shrock's working on making some food right now. Cinderella looks a little upset. Don't know why. Doris is rolling it. Who's on the grill? Earwax! Earwax is on the damn grill right now, making some hot dogs. Now, where's Unicorn Farts? Because she is supposed it's supposed to be a baby shower for her. And I know we invited her. Don't tell me Unicorn Farts ain't gonna show up for her own baby shower. And we got the whole family here for the function. Don't tell me. Thank you, Unicorn Farts on the hand heart. Stethy is so cute walking in. Who was stomping in? I'm gonna be honest, I really was not paying attention. Um, who was stomping in? Shrock's running around acting crazy. Shrock, what's your problem? What's your problem? Shrek! Oh, he done switched to six? Interesting. Shrock hasn't been acting like his normal self lately. Shrock's been very scared and a bit paranoid. Oh, God. He done switched over. He done switched over. It looks like Stethoscope's talking to her mom right now. Lottie's in here looking all cute and pregnant. Grimace, are y'all having book club right now? What is this? What, Shrekira's got the best butt, bro. Look at her butt. Look at her freaking butt. Like, stay off the bubble, Shrock. No, really. Oh my god, Shrock should invite some people to come. Change the strain. Can we do... Oh, we can't change it. Okay, let's go invite to unwind. He should go out here with Puss in Boots, Shrek, Granny Wolf. Great rotation. Um, Grimace and Puss in Boots, we need unicorn farts. That's what I'm saying. Where the hell is unicorn farts? She literally got invited. Why is she not showing up? This is her baby shower, bro. We're throwing you an iconic baby shower right now. Also, I want um, a DJ, hire staff. We want a DJ headliner. Okay. Unicorn farts in real life. Not Why is everybody freaking out over Puss in Boots? Oh, because he's doing a little bubble, a little bubble blowing right now. It's just a little bubble blowing. It's just a little, isn't that her next to the road? Oh, she's here. She's here! Look at her showing up when she wants to! Oh my god! Oh my god! She's walking straight over to her man, too. Hey, girl, we were just waiting on you. We're gonna thank her for coming. Um, I have to do a paternity test. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. She's thinking about how she doesn't like us. What? What do you mean? You don't like that we're sitting here? Oh lord. Oh lord. Thank you, Jenny. Um okay, let's um let's uh let's uh 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 open presents with unicorn farts. Unicorn farts, come see all the presents we got you. Come see all the presents we got you. Oh wait, get up. Stop smoking. Get up. Oh my god, he done got too bubbled at the party. Too bubbled at the party. This is why we don't try to have these things. Oh my god, Lottie, you look really adorable with your bump. You look really cutie patootie with your bump right now. Unicorn Fart said, fuck this, I'm getting a hot dog. She said, I'm getting a hot dog. Don't forget to add her to the household. Honestly, I don't even think I need to for her, because now she's already here. 
I just wanted to make sure she was going to be at the baby shower. Um, let's open, try to open some presents with her. We might join her household for, oh, will it not let us because they're so big? Or I need to move them to the begin, the middle. Now can we come open them with her? Maybe. Aw, oh, they can't do it when they're big like this. I guess I'll size them down. Well, now I don't even know the regular size that they're supposed to be. Is that the normal size? I don't even know. Um, open presents with unicorn farts, sparkle ass. Okay, now she can. See, it's your stuff! So exciting! Sharks are moving to unicorn farts at schoolhouse. I don't think uh, Ministry of Magic Unicorn Farts is going to let him live with her like that fast. Like, obviously, he can fuck her. You know, that's her man. But let's be real. This baby doesn't change things that he's got to wait on Unicorn Farts. Um, what's going on the table? Uh, he went out and caught some ghosts and put them on the table. So, look at how stoned he is right now. <laughs> Oh, she loves the presents! That is cute as shit! Um, let's give her a hug. And then after that, warm up with body heat. And then, um... Paternity t No, 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 no. And then, uh... I want him to feel her bump. How do I do that? Affection? I don't know. It won't let him do it. Puss in Boots, go away. Mega couple of books. Okay, cool. Cool. Baked Potato Shrock! Oh my god. Look at them both stoned right now! I'm sorry. That is funny as shit. That they're both... You know what? At least she got... Is he asking her to... Oh no, it's... He just asked her for woohoo. Oh no! Did I turn my sensor mode back on? I think it- oh, Doris. Oh dear, Doris. Oh dear. Doris? She said, don't mind me. Don't mind me! Oh hell. You know what? So much for me getting this whole music thing set up. We got a whole bar and the whole family's just worried about bubble blowing. The whole family, Earwax did make some hot dogs, so I can appreciate that. But the rest of the family's just worried about bubble blowing and whatever. Spark plug, I'm ready to go to your house. I gotta see what's going on with your kids. All unicorn farts that Shrock want to do is that. Classic swamp party is a swamp. You know what? At least nobody's died. Knock on wood. Um, where's Ogliana? I noticed she didn't show up. He's just jamming to the music right now. Not the foot tap. Not the foot tapping. Also, you gotta get some new boots. Some things look like they've been through it. Like, why can I see your toes through those? It's the honeymoon phase. Thank you, Charlotte, and thank you, Unicorn Farts of the Crystal Shoe. That's why they can't live together yet. Oh! I wonder what they're doing! <laughs> Girl, the knocking made me jump. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, Doris in here just smiling, talking to everybody. Why does Clarinet look sad and Puss in Boots look sad? Also, why is there an urn right here? Oh, that's the one. That's Santa's. Oopsies. Um, on his knees! Yeah. Oh my god, thank you, Charlotte, for the greeting card. Thank you so much. And Jenny for the favorite crane. Um. Anywho. Anywho. Shrakira falling on the floor. She has the fall on the floor baby syndrome. She does. Spark plug is so addicted to her man. I mean, anytime that they're around each other, they gotta be right next to each other. Every damn time. Every time. Um, and it looks like Granny and Lottie, you better not be partaking. You better be just talking to- I bet Granny's giving her mom advice right now. I bet 
Granny is giving her mom advice right now. She's like, oh, how do you handle the five puppies? That seems kind of like a lot. And Granny's over here like, oh, you know. Oh, not her giving her the hand and walking away. Bye, Granny. Go back home then. Who wouldn't be addicted to Grimace? This is true. It looks like everybody's going home now. I guess that's the baby shower. Except Puss in Boots. He's out on the dance floor by himself. Uh, oh my god. This man's drunk. That is me at the... <laughs> me at the club. Uh, like in Bridesmaids. I may have overcommitted. I took nine. Granny said just let them run. <laughs> Whose baby? What do you mean whose baby? Whose baby is what? The one that the baby shower for today? It's Shrocks and Unicorn Farts is. And Unicorn Farts, I, oh, I feel like I can see through her dress. Not the ghost of Santa coming in. Oh, no, 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 no. Shrock, you need to show him he cannot come looking at your woman in these types of manners. That's awkward. Why is he coming at your house like this? I feel like I just saw something I was not supposed to see. Um, get out, Santa. Get out, Santa. Hold on, let me turn off his reputation so she doesn't get mad. But, like... And we need to scrub the blood off. I don't know why that made him bloody because every single person I've seen that was, you know, let me not go into the EMS trauma, but they're not bloody when that happens. Um, disable reactions. Let me, uh, options, disable reputation system. Well, that didn't do anything. Can you leave, good sir? Unicorn farts, don't freak out. We were trying to be respectful to you. That's what we were trying to do. Do the belly hug. Oh my gosh, she's like, why are you yelling at Santa? Goodbye, Santa. Oh my god! She's so embarrassed right now. Can you woohoo a ghost? Of course you can. We've had babies with ghosts. Um... You gotta make it up to her. She's embarrassed as shit. She's embarrassed as shit now. Because you went and showed your ass in front of Santa. She got the ick. I think she's still fine. I mean, that's still... That's still her man. That is still her man. But... Oh my god, that's cute! That is cute! With her little fairy wings! With her little fairy wings! Thank you, Unicorn Farts. Oh my god. That is adorable. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Wow. So cute. Also, I posted my updated save file today on my middle and highest tier on Patreon. So for those of y'all wanting to have a save file with everybody pregnant and all the new characters I've been added in the last month and whatever, it's posted now. Um, sorry, I need all these photos. That was cute as shit. Wow. Wow. He's feeling a little ill right now. He is feeling a little ill right now. What's tea? Not Snarl wanting to ask Unicorn Farts about the tea. Who's texting me? Oh my god, thank you Amanda for the fireworks. Who is, um, uh, texting me. Oh my god, the family group chat going off at this hour. 30 freaking texts. Um, thank you, Corey, for the Corgi, and thank you, Elizabeth, for subscribing. Thank you so much, girl. Um, Snarl's about to piss himself. Go ask Unicorn Farts about the tea. We gotta know the tea. She's looking embarrassed and whatever. He came out in his robe. Family group chats are the worst. Is Cindy in Snarl's bed? I sure hope not. Oh. Not everybody getting sassy right now. I am sickening. 
See, I don't even know what these things mean, but sure. Tell her she's a cunt. Oh my god. Oh wait, no, no, no. Don't tell Unicorn Fart she's a cunt. No, no, no. Don't do that. Um, gossip? Lord? I don't even know what any of these things mean. Oh my god, who's with Snarl? Looks like Earwax is up here right now, but I don't think Earwax was doing nothing with Snarl. I don't even think Snarl knows Earwax. Now let me check his friendships. Yes, his nephew, Ear Earwax is. They have like barely any relation. Um, what mod is that? It's on my lowest tier on Patreon. It's like the drag mod. Thank you, Stephanie, for the corgi. Um, I do want to all in favor. Okay, so here's our two options. We can Shrek, please, with him walking around it. <laughs> um here are two options we can go to spark plug's house with her kids or we can have unicorn farts as baby tonight which one are we doing which one are we doing is what i need to know sickening is like your slang well that he was talking about call her a cunt they are so cute i'm sorry cinderella in her pink robe and then him in his hearty underwear your heart sparks, baby, 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 baby. It sounds like we're having a baby. However, if we're having a baby, that Shrock's baby, that baby will be born on the swamp, which means we're gonna have to throw a second party. Because, you know, we throw parties when we're having a baby around here. First, I need a birthing pool. Birthing pool, birthing pool. Um, pool? A green one, and I'm gonna put it right out in the front of the yard. Actually, no, the ambiance is better right by the mini fart pond, I think. And I will get rid of some of these huge presents. Um, and this table, and our little ghost. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop, boop. Hopefully I don't accidentally delete one of our gravestones, but if I do, then oh well. More people will die later. Um, whatever. Fuck it. Ugh, so many things. Okay, so we have our- maybe the ambiance would actually be better over here. Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll get a little yoga ball, too. Yoga ball... And we'll put one outside too in case she'd rather be outside. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Emily. Um, thank you, Maddie, for following. Aw, oh, damn it. We left the angry ghost. It's fine. It's fine. Um, unicorn farts, I have to add you to the family now. And I also need to put you into labor um pregnancy phase and labor and then i'm also going to resume the pregnancy and then we're going to get her to start a home birth which is so exciting what's this tr thing yuck from secondhand smoke the smell of a nearby smoker is quite frankly disgusting um you know farts i'm gonna be honest you're gonna have to get over that uh let's go ahead and start her home birth Perfect. Um, you need to ask him to join. Yeah, we will have to ask him to join too. Shrock, wake up. We're having a baby. We're having a shark. And then he is so fine. Like, for an ogre, bro. Be so serious. Be so serious. Um, we need to ask him to join for the birth. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, ask to accompany childbirth. And then, uh, Unicorn Fart, stop pissing on the floor. And his new abode, well, this isn't really new, we've had this in the family for a while, but. 
Um, can he stop a fire? right now what the fuck okay i don't know why i just lagged but anyways let me go ahead and invite who we're gonna have at this party um um at an event like i hear y'all that it just lagged i know i'm fully aware that it just fucking lagged i don't know why it just lagged so hard um, hopefully it's fine now. No, we all like babes. I was lagging about her just to join it, rejoin it, fixed it. Um, do, 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 do. we are going to, obviously the hosts are all of us. And our guests, oh shit, I gotta go through this again. This list will be a bit more unhinged than the last. It won't be really the family It'll just be whoever the fuck I land on, pretty much. Um, <laughs> well, Farqueef is one of the hosts, so. Um, um, who else? Merida, Medusa. Yeah, it should be good. And we need a mixologist, of course. A caterer would be fine. Um, and we're gonna have it at our house right now. Unicorn farts, we're throwing your baby a party. A party! You're on my list of things to do today. I hope I'm a priority. Not Shrek and Cinderella starting off the party with a good old woohoo. If y'all want to start your party off by fucking, then you go ahead. Who am I to tell Shrek that he can't fuck his wife in his swamp? I'm not telling him. I'm not telling him. Unicorn farts, get over here. It's time to get the baby out the way you got the baby in. Bounce on this ball, girl. I'm so excited. We're gonna have a little next to our fart pond baby. <sighs> the way Patrick acts like he owns the place. He's probably congratulating us. That's nice. That's nice. I do appreciate that. Doris is like, damn, I've been back like 10 times at this point. LOL. Thank you, Faith, for following. Um... Did it just change seasons? I think it did. Patrick gonna scare the baby right out of Unicorn Farts. Thank you, Keanu Care Bear. Um, all right, Unicorn Farts, you got the... Why do I feel like I can see her coochie? Unicorn Farts, I might have to change your outfit because I'm not sure what I'm looking at here, but I just want to make sure it's not the right thing. Um, change outfit. Let's wear... Oh, this, obviously. Perfect. We did call the midwife. Now, if she's coming, who knows? But we did call her. It looks like Shrek and Cinderella are... Anywho, we're working on getting out the baby right now. Whenever the midwife shows up, then we can find out how far along we are. Um... And hopefully it won't be, like, that long. It looks like Merida's over there dancing. Uh, Amanda just floating on past. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Did you put her into labor? Yeah, she's in labor. She is in labor. Uh, Snarl, why don't you come over here and have a, a rotation with some... Oh, you had to know the people? 
Dan Shrock, get up! Get up! Your woman is in labor. Get up. Come out here. Why don't you, um... Uh, Unicorn Farts, why don't you ask him for a, a back massage at this time? Where is Shrock? In here asleep? Asleep? Like, Unicorn Farts ain't in fucking labor right now. <sighs> Farquifa is in here making a pot of beans. Um, love that. Looks like Mohawk Doctor is talking about how our swamp stinks. Um, first of all, it's a fucking swamp. What did you expect? Uh, I guess I invited Svetlana. Hey, girl, I know that this probably doesn't feel like a safe space right now. Hey, Rachel! Not feeling this song. Unicorn Farts does not seem to be enjoying this song. Should she decide she dislikes hip-hop music? No. I don't think so. What is happening? Damn! Is she nursing you? Because it's been like two hours. Thank you, Pitch McGee. Not Spongebob, literally. Is he about to take off his skin? Okay, I'll walk away. I'll walk away. Spongebob, you're freaking me out. You're freaking me out. Um... Oh, Papa Bear is our... Oh, no, he's a guest. So he's not the one doing... I love how Patrick is over here flirting with Tafiti and Merida. Patrick, you are not going to bag Tafiti or Merida. She looks pissed off, too. He's listening. He is listening. Not the ex-wife here, Rapunzel. First of all, did you get a new dress? Mm. You look like a Karen at this point. You do. You do. They're bonding over Lou. <gasps> no, really. No, actually. Oh, look at Spongebob. <laughs> no, these are really like Lou's ex-girlfriends. Both just standing out here. Um, Unicorn Farts, how are you? She's carrying a tray of bread. She put it in the fire. On top of the fire. Unicorn Farts, where's our midwife? Can we try calling her again? Because I feel like she should have shown up by now. And I'm getting a little... Wait, why can't we call a midwife now? Do we not already have one? Um... I don't know where the midwife is. I guess just go for a walk. I guess we'll know when it's time. We'll know when it's time. It says your sim isn't fully dilated yet. I hear you. I do hear you. Papa Bear, Papa Bear's got some huge feet. I will say that. Huge feet. Everybody's hanging out. Why does everybody keep making beans? Ew, you did not just bite a whole onion and put it in there. Are we using the birthing pool or bed? We'll be using the pool today for a nice ambiance for Unicorn Farts' first baby. She's walking around barefoot on the swamp in her unicorn uh, onesie. Wings out. She did get a good dicking this morning, which I think is what put her into labor, to be honest. Um, up here, we still have Farquifa's fabulous little apartment. Only these walls know who she got pregnant by. Only these walls. I love Unicorn Farts' tracksuit. I want one. Right? It looks so cozy. <gasps> Patrick about to get into the... <laughs> You're burning up, girl. You're burning up. Um, this is her hot weather outfit. So, it doesn't look very breathable, but it is what it is. Oh my god. I miss that, that she's pregnant. Yes, she is pregnant. We don't know who the baby daddy is, but we do know that she is pregnant. Um, in her first trimester right now. Doris, are you okay, girl? Are you okay? Thank you, Lachey. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Chaotic Care Bear. 
Also, thank you guys for getting me to gaming number 66. I can't believe I'm still in the top 100. I know I'll probably lose it tomorrow since I have to have surgery and won't be streaming. But for tonight, I love that I'm in the top 100 and it makes me feel super special. So thank you. Um, quirk revealed frequently sneezes. Apparently slipper shits frequently sneezes. Unicorn farts, go ahead and exercise on your ball, girl. Thank you, Kayla. Mr. Krabs just walking around. Patrick in the fucking fart pond is actually too funny to me. I can't forgive you for never telling me what happened to Beryl. What do you mean? Whatever happened to Beryl? What do you mean? Um, no surgery live stream were invested. I'm gonna be asleep. SpongeBob just floating through the house. Um, Lord. Then we got these girly pops that we never see around, just over here dancing. Shrock making drinks. Shrock, you're not being that great to unicorn farts right now. I'm gonna be honest, she's kind of having to go through this labor process alone, and I feel a little bad for her. Welcome her to the household. They could sway together. Yeah, come sway with her. That would be cutie patootie. SpongeBob grabbing his drink. It says, it's happening. Unicorn Fart Spark Glass is so utterly smitten with Shrock that she is proposing marriage. Unicorn Farts, this is not how I wanted to do this. This is not how I wanted to do this at all. We've got Patrick grabbing a drink out of our hands. You're about to shit out a baby on the swamp. It looks like she's got the swampitis as well. I can kind of see some dots on her legs. Going off script! Ugh, she says, I will control this. Wow. Wow. I mean, I guess, of course. Girl, are you ill? Oh, she's about to piss herself. She's got the swampitis. Go use the bathroom. It says, contraction pains. The pain is becoming more constant. Unicorn Farts having a hard time concentrating on anything. So you go and ask that man to marry you? Oh, Lord Jesus. We got to get her some, or not some unicorn farts, some orange juice. Um, Come over here. Have a quick meal. The orange juice will heal you, girl. The almighty orange juice will. Okay, she's having a moment. She's having a moment right now. I'm going to let her go through the. I see who she got it from. Oh, hell. They both done got the swirly whirls. Well, this is not good. <laughs> this is not good. Hello, people. I'm finally in a live and so YouTube. Oh, we're so glad you're here. Thank you, Kendrick, for resubscribing. Oh, my God. They done both got the swirly whirls. The worms. Now, who gave them all them swirls? Um, if we have any proof that AI is gaining sentience, look no further than Pixie Sims. No, real. Because they can, uh, they can hear. She pissed herself. She fucking peed all over herself. God damn it, unicorn farts. Look at all these people heading home. Look at all these people heading home right now. Now I'm gonna have to start another party because you're still not ready to have a baby. We're still not fully dilated. I don't know where the midwife is. I have not seen a midwife this entire time. I don't know if we're going to have one. We're probably going to have to... Who is this? Not Mama Bear showing up. Snarl, go let Mama Bear in the house. Invite in. And then you can say, hi! This labor is taking forever. Well, it's not our fault that Unicorn Farts has such a small, like, a tight, uh cervix cervicular opening again you know what i'm talking about narrow based canal it takes a while to open is the midwife baby upstairs i don't know where the fuck this midwife is 
I think Mama Bear came looking for her husband. Because he was here. Look at him leaving right now. Drunk. Walking home drunk. Mama Bear, your husband's walking down the road right now. Oh, she sat down. She sat down. Hey, Mama Bear. Is Mama Bear the midwife? Hell no, she's not the midwife. She looks very pretty today, though. She looks very pretty. Thank you, Chaotic Care Bear. Um, unicorn farts. She's talking about icky plumbing and whatever. I'm gonna fix her things. What's her thing with Shrock say now? Amazing compatibility. Soulmates perceived as attractive, engaged, and they're deeply connected. Unicorn Farts has a powerful bond with Shrock that is a source of strength and comfort. So cute. So freaking cute. Okay, I think we might have to have a... Um... Damn, she's still not fully dilated? My god. Okay. Go exercise on this ball. Go exercise on the damn ball. Soulmate Shrock. You got this Unicorn Farts. Just really imagine yourself. I was just watching one of my favorite YouTubers. She's pregnant right now. So I'm, I'm basically going through a pregnancy with her at this point, even though I'm not pregnant. And she was talking about, she's like, yeah, I've been watching all these videos and going to these classes. And they say when you're preparing for birth, because she's doing a home birth. She's like, you're supposed to imagine yourself opening up. You're supposed to imagine yourself widening up and everything. I'm like, what? What? OMG, where's the pregnancy ball? I cannot find it even though I have that mod. Um, I just search pregnancy in the little search thing and it usually comes up. Like, or yoga ball. Exercise again. Thank you, Peggy, for resubscribing. Thank you, Megan, for the 10 roses. Uh, yes, opening up like a flower. Visualize. Do you have a name picked? Um, no, I do not. Um, I have a few ideas. He said... You know what, Shrock? I understand. Oh, he's cured. He's cured. Oh, you open up all right. <laughs> yes, and you forget it all when you're in pain and ripping open. Unicorn Farts gets a final name, say. Uh, Unicorn Shart. Shart. Lord. I've had three C-section babies. I sure got opened up. Oh, Jesus. How many moms are in the chat? I believe a lot. I believe there are quite a few moms in the chat. Um, Shrock Farts. Thank you, Rachel, for the corgi. Um, Shartella. It is a boy. She's having a boy. Can we have this baby yet? Oh, my God. Get back on the ball. Get back on the ball. Wait, is the... She's here. Oh, my God. The midwife is here. Can you check our dilation hole? Like, come... Come check it. Where have you been? Mama too. Hello, mom here. I'm a mom. Unicorn parts looks absolutely fabulous, birthing. <laughs> um, bitch, can you check our dilation? I'm a mom. See, that's all I'm saying. I think, I figured we have quite a few moms in here. I believe Doris had a C-section at one point. Didn't Doris have a C-section with her twins? Mama five. Aww. Thank you, Chaotic Care Bear. I'm a mother. All the mothers mothering. I feel like... Oh my god, thank you, Keely, for subscribing! If, uh... If I get pregnant in the future, I'm gonna probably wait to tell y'all till, like, I don't know. I'll probably be, like, the week before. And I'll be like, y'all, I'm not going to be able to go live next week. I'm having a, a pixie puff. Um, thank you, Chaotic Care, Bo Care Bear. Shrockoli. Sharther vote here. You are seven centimeters dilated. Just trust the process. You're doing a great job. Only seven. Only seven. Get back on the ball. Back on the ball. Girl, we'll know. I'm pregnant with twins, my first pregnancy. Aw, oh, congratulations. Shartara? You'll tell us straight away, no secrets in the pixie verse. You gotta at least share your baby registry with us. Well, I'm not pregnant. So, there's that. There's that. Pixie, I bet the name you'd pick for your baby will be epic. Uh, I can already tell you, if I get pregnant with a girl, I'm going to name her Katara. 
I can already tell you that. Her name will be Katara. Um, I also love the name Violet, but I liked that name before Fourth Wing, and now I love it even more, but, uh, you're probably gonna freak out about something and I'm telling us. Pixie, I had a dream you were pregnant. Interesting. Interesting. Um, if I had a boy... First of all, I love the name Ace Archer, but I've already used that for one of my sims. Um, that's the thing is, like, a lot of my book character names are names I really like, so now I've already used them. I'm pretty proud of Sharther. I would name mine Violet after Frank Grand. It's such a pretty name. Such a pretty name. I don't know what I would name a boy. Earwax is calling to chat. Aw, Earwax is calling his sister Farquifa. That's so nice. That's so nice. Um, not Snarl over here dancing. He said, wait, we have a club at the house now? We have a club at the house? Hi, Shrine. My son's name is Aries. You would need to add your Amazon wish list so we can do a live baby shower. That would be wild. That would be wild. I don't know. I don't have any plans on getting pregnant this year. So if I end up pregnant, it would be a uh, it would be a surprise, a shock, a shrock. Where is Shrock? Right there, just running around the muck. He doesn't know what to do with himself at all. Give that man a pole so he can. Truly, you're right. Where is the pole? Where is the pole? Pole? Okay. Unicorn farts, get back over here. She's looking at the ghost. It's fine. It's fine. My girl's Amelia. We call her Millie. Oh, I'm so cute. For a boy, I like Maverick and a girl, Magnolia. The M names. All right. This is what Unicorn Farts needs in her time of pain. This is what... Now, would your man do this for you? Would your man do this for you? Oh, I love the name Aria. My man could never. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. She's getting through the is look, she's motivated. She is motivated right now. I love it. I love it. I feel like she's going faster to be honest. Are we ready to have this baby yet? Set wing color. No, 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 no. Oh, we should change our wings for, um, having a boy. Blue. Oh, not that color blue. Wings. Wait, what? Set wing color. Can we do a light blue? Yeah, do that. Do that. Um, have babe. Still not fully dilated! <sighs> also, while I'm waiting on her to have this baby, for you Akatar readers... I just want to formally apologize about yesterday or whatever, me saying that this book was shit. Um, I've decided it's not shit. It's just very, compared to like other books, there's not like a bunch of drama happening. And I now realize that that's the whole point. The whole point of this book is to feel warm and cozy. And I've gotten to the point where I feel warm and cozy and I wish it was Christmas time now while I was reading this because this book feels like Christmas. And um, I'm going to start Akatar after the last Throne of Glass book. I'm reading Throne of Glass after I finish A Court of Silver Flames after this. Um, it's a cozy Christmas special. Yeah, it's literally like a Christmassy book. And I'm almost done with it. I'm right here. And um, yeah, I'll probably finish it tonight. I have been enjoying it, though. After the first, like, 80 pages, I have enjoyed it. Um, it was a lot slower than I was expecting, though. And you know what? 
I think, mm, no, I was going to have them get married right this second, but you know what? They deserve a wedding, a real wedding. Who's calling? Hey, Shrek, we'd love to have you join the good timers. What do you think? Shrek Kunzel, you daddy does not want to go out with you. No, no. Thank you, Jesse, for following. Thank you, Megan, that you beautifully me. Um, let's, uniform parts, it's time to have this baby. Shrek, get over here. Get off the pole. It's time to have the baby. Go over here. Um, because the next one's wild. I'm excited for the next book. I am excited. Is that her divorced parent group? I believe so. Oh, Unicorn Farts let down her hair for this. She let down her hair for this. Shrock, where are you going? Don't be a typical ogre man. Get your ass out here. I know he's not right now. I know he's not right now. He needs to come join her. He needs to come join her. Unicorn farts, it's time. Your swamp birth. Shrock, I swear to God, I'm gonna literally delete you right now. Okay, join, here we go. Here's the option to join. Thank you, Stephanie, for the corgi, or two corgis. Um. Here we go. Not him crying. Why are you crying? She's the one having to squeeze something out her... You know what? You know what? He is really going through it right now. He was not ready for this. Not the... <laughs> oh, lordy. You got this, you and horn farts. You got this, you and horn farts. I believe in you. He just wants a ham sandwich. You're the reason I started reading Akatar. I'm liking it so far. Oh, I'm glad you're liking it. Thank you, Amanda, for the hands up. Unicorn Farts, you got this, girl. You got this. Oh, Lord. It is a boy. It is a boy. We do have a boy being born right now. Um, now, there's been a lot of names. A lot of names suggested. Sharther. I do like Sharther. I like Shart. Um, Shart, Shart, Ogre Shart. Sharkle. Sharticus. Shartly. That reminds me of like Barkley and Shrekly and all them. Sharkcuterie. Sharther. Shrockfarts. Sharther it is. Sharther is it. Shrockily like broccoli. Um. Shartino. Sharticus got me. Sharkquavion. Shark Mare, Shrunt, Shark Garfunkel, Sharty. Unicorn Farts is holding her breath right now. Sharticus, Shartnado. It's a lot of shark names. It's a lot of variations of shark. Um. Green Shark, Sharnada. Scorn is just so cute. That is cute. Unibrow. I do like that. I do like that. Crockpot. I'd make him a junior. Oh, Lord. Sharkula. <laughs> Lord. Toaster, Uterock, Corn. Oh, an Angel on Fire, thank you for following me. Unicorns. <laughs> oh my god. I do like Sharther. Name it Peter Wendy. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Definitely not Peter Wendy. Okay. 
I just wanted to make sure that I was right about what I was remembering before I named the baby this. Now, nobody, um, nobody said this name because y'all probably don't stock unicorn farts like how I do. Um, the last name is going to be hyphen, or both of them. Um, Sparkle Ass Ogre. And the first name, I am combining it with what y'all have said about the shark and everything. I also love Sharther, maybe if they have another baby. Um, but this first one, I wanted to include a little bit of unicorn farts in. And the name is going to be Vintage Shart for his name. Uh, a very classy name because she is in the Ministry of Magic. And Unicorn Farts is a classy sim, okay? Um, for those of you who don't know, Unicorn Farts in real life likes to collect vintage toys and everything. And uh, so I thought she would probably give a special name to her um, baby. So Vintage Shart Sparkle Ass Ogre is his name um i hope it's a green baby it's gonna come out looking white but when we see him in the crib we'll know the actual color vintage shard our eyes <laughs> thank you megan thank you amanda thank you kelsey um i gotta know if the baby's gonna be green or white once they're in the crib i am taking some little photos just in case he's green <gasps> he is green he is green! Get in the crib! <gasps> Stop it! Unicorn Farts, can you put your ass away? <laughs> your sparkle ass away? <gasps> oh my god! Baby Vinny! sim i guess you could call it that um delivered a baby a ogre baby herself on the swamp thank you amanda for a bunch of confettis thank you stephanie thank you megs um unicorn farts come hold this baby come um we'll show off to um shrock i am going to get her to change into her regular outfit too and we will now change her wings to be green in honor of her green baby. So cute. Cinderella, stop crying over him. Thank you guys for the gifts. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Wald. Um, Lachey, Hannah. She's so excited. Meg, Stephanie. Um... So freaking excited. Cinderella, stop it. Shrock is coming out here right now. This is so cute. Green fairy ogre. Shrock, you're fine. We just delivered a whole baby. A whole baby. Are you going to show off the baby or what? Is she waiting for Vintage to wake up? Vintage. This is a canon event. <laughs> This is being creative. We can't until the baby gets a little bit older. We can't bring him into create a sim yet. Damn, the baby's like really sleeping right now. Really sleeping for a while. Why is there a floating ghost in a jar? Well, we were trying to have the best baby shower ever. And Shrock wanted to make it really perfect. And then now we have that jar. Vinny is a good boy. Oh god, it's crying. You know, Corn Farts, are you gonna show off this baby or what? I think I have to reset her. I think I need to reset her immediately. Oh god, he's crying. Okay, let's um show off to Shrock so he can see see your son. Um, excuse the shit out of me. Why is it not working? 
Okay, maybe I need to move this crib elsewhere. Maybe in the middle of the living room, perhaps. Unicorn farts, you might have to feed this first before we can show off. Let's um um kiss the baby's forehead and then baby care uh give it a bottle. Did her wings change back to blue? Um, I, why are you naked? Apparently, they did change, but I don't know what color they are right now. I don't even know where her clothes went. What in the hell? What in the hell is going on? What is literally going on? Baby care. I'm going to do the little show off to thing. I'm determined now. You're going to show off this damn baby. I think her wings are back to the original color they were. Which, I mean, I guess that's fine. The baby is breaking the game. <sighs> can't wait. Honestly, I can't wait for season three to see all of these babies aged up. As well as, um, Granny's babies. Spark plugs, younger kids and stuff. It's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot. Oh, wait, he's coming now. Are we going to be able to show off the baby now? Are we going to be able to show off the baby now? Oh, it stinks. It stinks. Change the baby's dirty diaper. I wish this lady would stop talking to us. I guess we can't show off the baby. So just change his diaper. Cute! Okay, you guys. I'm going to be ending the live here. I have surgery tomorrow, so I will not be streaming tomorrow. Sadly, I'll keep y'all updated on Thursday if I'll be streaming or not. I just don't know how bad I'm going to be feeling after the surgery. Um, this was super exciting. Having Unicorn Farts' is baby. I hope Unicorn Farts liked the name. I didn't see what she had to say about it. Um, I will be in the Discord after this for those of you who want to talk about the episode and whatnot. Thank you for for all the confetti. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have. Oh, also, for those of you who didn't hear earlier, my updated save file prior to this live stream um, is now on Patreon. So for those of you wanting to download my uh, save file, it's in my middle and highest tier on Patreon now. Uh, for those of you wanting to download it. All right. I'll see you on the Discord. I love you so much. Good night.